Hi everyone, I have made this video to show you how to put together your Rock Cycle comic strip over on notebook page 48 in your notebook. This is an example of what your Rock Cycle comic strip might look like by the time you are done. There are two steps involved in making your own comic strip. Step one, we are going to use a spinner to randomly choose each of the four rock types that your comic strip will contain. Keep in mind when we do this that you don't have to use all three rock types and you can use the same rock type over and over again. After we've chosen which rock types we are going to be using, then you're going to create a comic strip that shows how your original rock changes into each new type. Let's start by choosing our rocks. This little video will show you how I got to my choices. You need to run the same spinner. Uh, I'll show you where it's found on a link. You need to run the same spinner to create your four rocks as well. So here we go. I'm spinning the wheel. And my first rock selected is sedimentary. So I write sedimentary in box number one. And then I spin it again. Please remember that you need to do your own. Oh, I got sedimentary again, and that's okay, because one sedimentary rock can turn into another sedimentary rock. No problems there. My third rock is metamorphic, so I write that in box three, and one more spin. Oh, I'm heading back to sedimentary rock again. So in my example, it goes sedimentary, sedimentary, metamorphic, sedimentary. I didn't spin igneous at all, which is fine. You don't have to use all three rock types. I also have two sedimentaries in a row, which is also fine. Now I'm going to have you guys pause this video, open up the spinner, and spin to find your four rock types. You cannot have the same series of rock types as what I have. If you accidentally get the same exact pattern, sedimentary, sedimentary, metamorphic, and sedimentary, then I want you to spin again until you get something different. I will not accept any comic strips that come in with my exact same pattern. Please pause the video now, spin the spinner, and decide what your four, four rock types are going to be. And let's move on and take a closer look now at part two. First off, remember, please don't use my example. Come up with your own pattern. Part two is where you actually draw your comic strip, and this is going to be using graphic notes. But this time in particular, you do have to draw actual pictures. Okay, I need to see these rocks as they go from one kind to the other. Also, please make sure that your comic strip reads left to right and up and down. I don't want any fancy Japanese manga looking co uh, comic strips turned into me, please. Keep this nice and boring. Here's my example. I started with a sedimentary rock. So here is my drawing of a sedimentary rock. And then because I think I'm funny, I added a cute little face and a little bit of an explanation as to what we're doing with this sedimentary rock. We have... Uh, sedimentary rock here saying, oh my gosh, can you believe that I used to be just a pile of sediment? Make sure that when you do this that you are uh, explaining how the rock type came to be as well. From there, my sedimentary rock is going to have to turn into another sedimentary rock, but before it does that, it has to turn into a pile of sediment. Uh-oh, it looks like I've been crumbled back into sediments, my pile of sediment says, before it gets turned into a different kind of sedimentary rock. Here he is again, once more a sedimentary rock. Next, he's got to turn into a metamorphic rock, and that means that we have to apply heat and pressure. So here's my poor sedimentary rock under so much pressure and so much heat that he's become metamorphic. But notice how my metamorphic rock has the same basic pattern as my earlier sedimentary rock. That's on purpose. That's because metamorphic rocks don't uh, they still look like the original rock type. They've just been squished out of shape. And then he's got to turn back into a sedimentary rock again, crumbled up into sediments. And finally, one last sedimentary rock. And he is done. Now let's look at some individual elements from my comic strip. First off, when you draw your rocks, please choose a color scheme and stick to it. So I used brown, yellow, and orange in all of my rocks and sediments. I did that because I'm trying to indicate that the same rock is turning into different kinds of rocks as it goes through. 
by using the same color scheme, it looks like it is the same rock over and over again, which is the point. We are looking at one rock and as it changes from one type to the next. Please make sure that you do the same. Choose whatever color scheme you want and stick to it. Also, all of my geology terms look the same. Please make sure that you do the same thing as well. Pick a scheme, pick a color, pick a style of block letter, I don't care. But anytime you use a word that comes from our rock cycle, please make sure that it looks the same in your comic strip. And that's it. This is what notebook page 48 should look like by the time you are finished with your comic strip. Now please remember, do your own work. Do not copy my example at all. Include every step between each rock type. I never used igneous rocks, and that's okay, but if you do have igneous rocks, don't forget that it has to melt into magma before it turns into a new igneous rock. And finally, have fun with this, because let's face it, you rock. <laughs>